Okay, YouTube. I am showing you my uh, shotgun, the way I have it set up. And my AR-15. Well, my shotgun, this is the way I have it set up because not only do I do a lot of uh, target practice and I do a lot of fun things with it. I love the shotgun. I got it set up as like a, a tactical deal or whatever. And um, I also use it for home defense. Okay. And this is the gun that I get to when I really need to take care of business for his home protection. Keep the pistol in a nightstand. But that's just to get to this right here. You know, so if you come knocking at my door late at night, think you're going to harm me and my family. This is what this is what you're going to be greeted with. This bad boy right here. All right. But let me get into what I really want to talk about. This here is a red dot. They can get real expensive, man. And if you like me, you love red dots, and you want to own multiple rifles, you know, I plan on adding at least four or five more rifles to my collection. You know, I got, I got six rifles now, but a lot of them are old rifles and like a couple of them are, you know, pretty old. My grandfather gave them to me. And I don't want, I want to keep them the way that they are. They nice, they got a lot of wood on them, they're beautiful. And they were passed down to me, you know, that my grandfather gave me. So I don't want to do all that to them. But I'm going to buy, I know a few more, uh, at least two more AR-15s. I'm going to do a different setup on those. And at least an AK just because I want to do one and eventually somewhere down the line I want to do a piston AR-15 and I know eventually I want to do a, uh, a bullpup AR-15 and a bullpup shotgun. These are rifles that I know I'm going to do in the future and I know I'm going to want to have some type of optic on them. Some I plan on running one and three power magnifier um, scopes some I plan on putting full you know big huge long rifle scopes on you know a few vortexes or something like that some I plan on just doing regular red dots and that's what I want to talk about listen to all you aim point guys ACOGs, and Trichicons, and EOTX, man, those are great. They are fine. You know, I had an EOTX on this rifle at first. I can't remember what model it is, but it was the it was the one that had the detachable lever on it. Had the quick the quick detach. It was real short. Had the battery compartment in the front right here that was like sideways it took the uh lithium you know the one two three lithium battery and had the night vision it had everything it had the buttons on the side of the compartment and i paid almost six hundred dollars for that thing six hundred dollars i loved it it was great but i hated to keep buying and put batteries in it the batteries didn't last that long. I mean, they lasted, you know, up to two or three weeks because I was I was going shooting like three or four times a week. I was shooting, and I kept having to put batteries in it. And... Uh, It was okay, but you know, 
I want a more battery life. And, uh, you know, like I said, the EOTech is a great, great, great uh, optic. So are the aim points. They are the top of the line, the cream to the cram, you know, they led the way. But that's $600 every time I want to put one on a rifle, man. 600 bucks. That is crazy. I got my kids' future to think about. Of. I can't throw away that much, much money. And I found this company right here called Hollow Sun. I sold the EOTech. You know, I sold it. I love the EOTech Retinical now. I love it. That that 65 MOA with the dot in the middle. You can't beat it for quick acquisition. You cannot beat that EOTech. I mean, they, they was on point with it. And I was cool with just having a simple red dot. And the aim point had that. And they had that five-year battery life that was just, man, huge selling point. Plus, they were built like tanks. You know, you can't beat neither one of those optics, man. You want to go scuba diving? Go ahead. They, those things like tanks. But I'm not scuba diving. And I don't plan on going no time soon. I just need something that's going to hold up in, in, in some harsh rain or heat and snow and stuff like that yeah it should you you spend you should have an optic that should survive that type of stuff well these optics will you can't go swimming with it but you can stand out in the rain with this thing all day long you can drop it in a puddle of water it'll be fine but here's the thing I paid 200 bucks for this thing, man. And I paid 200 bucks for this one. I paid 200 bucks for this one. On my shotgun. And they got five year battery life. Five years, man. This one here runs on straight battery. You know, and it's just a single dot. It's got the battery compartment on the side. You know, it is the uh, Hollow Sun uh, HS403D. That was the first version. I mean, one of the, their first versions, the 400 line. So it just has a single MOA dot, but it's a beautiful crisp dot. It's just as crisp and beautiful as the aim point, or maybe even better, man. I mean, I'm not here trying to down people. I have. Man, I have looked and tried to choose and look at these options, but there's a guy, man. There are plenty of guys at my gun club I go to. They got all that stuff, man. And I let them see mine. They be like, man, that's a beautiful dot. And it is. It is. And I realized, you don't have to pay five, six hundred, seven hundred dollars $600, $700, man, to have a good optic. But I don't believe in paying $50 or $100 either. I mean, some of those $100 optics are good. But man, I really want something that's a little more rugged and a little bit more quality. So two to three hundred range, I'm good. I can I can I can afford that. But five, six, seven hundred dollars every time I want to put an optic on a rifle, I don't think so. So let me stop babbling, man. Let me see. This one is I can't take that one off because I don't feel like taking it apart. But I did get the de quick detach rail for this one. So let me take it off and show it to you. And see if I can tell you a little bit about this thing, man. Now this one here is really nice. I'm gonna move this rifle out of the way. This one is nice. This one has a solar panel. So just straight battery time, you get five hours out of this thing, period. Just running all day long. But not only that, it has an automatic shutoff. And in solar panel mode, as long as there's light in the sky, it doesn't run on battery. It runs on the um, solar panel. And if you're going to the, you know, somewhere where it's dark, then it switch to battery. 
And if you want, you can switch it to battery only. You can run it like that. That's fine too. And you also have the option to run a single 2 MOA dot or you can run a 65 MOA ring and a dot. So you get the best of both worlds. An aim point and an and a, uh, EOTech. And I'm telling you, man, it works great. Let me see. I'll get you guys a shot of that dot, man. I get this thing to focus. I don't think I'll be able to do that, man. That's the 65 MOA ring. But, you know, I'm going I'm to switch it to battery mode. So you can see. See if I can get this thing. So you can at least get to see. I mean, it goes extremely bright. Hold on a second, well, let me get. Okay, hold down the button. All right, there we go. Now we got it to battery mode. Look how bright it is. God, look how bright it goes. All right, and you can turn it all the way down. And uh, it has night vision. You got to get to the night vision in battery mode. And you put it on about the fifth or, fifth or sixth setting. And it'll stay on for five years, man. But I use it in solar mode, man. The solar mode is automatic, adjustable. You know, solar panel. That works for me because, like, if you're in a dark room, it'll it'll go bright for you. You know, it'll, it'll dim down if you're in a dark room. It'll adjust to, to the lighting in the dark room. And when you go outside and the light hit it, it gets really, really bright so you can see the retinacle. It, it works well, man. It, it does great, man. And I like it. But, you know, I'm not here to talk about too much about the specs of this thing, man. There's a lot of videos out there about the hollow suns. The point I'm trying to say is you don't have to put expensive optics on every rifle you have. I know there are some guys out there. They got truckloads of money, and they'll tell you, well, I don't trust my life with another, nothing else. Well, you got the money to say that. But I've learned. I put, I, you know, I wanted to wait a while. I've had these two optics, you know, for, uh, I had one on the, uh, one on the shotgun I've had over a, uh, about a year and a half now. And, uh, this one here now that I'm putting on the AR, I've had it for uh, about six months. So I just wanted to really run through these things, man, and um, do a, try a few things with them to uh, see if, you know, before I co-sign on this, man. And I took both of them and I dropped them in a bowl of water. And I left it there all night long, man. It was a bowl of water. All night long. I got back up the next morning, come back down here, poured the water out the bowl, took both the sights off, wiped them off. They both were still working. They're still on. I put them back on the rifles, took them to the range. They both still held zero. And I shot, you know. Now, I'm not going to go and beat them up and do all the torture tests and all that stuff. I'm not going to do that because... Uh, I don't want to have to buy another one. <laughs> so, but there are people out there who got videos that does that, you know. So, all I'm saying is, man, to those who want a good quality optic, but don't want to have to pay, you know, half of a, you know, six, seven hundred dollars, look in the hollow sun, man. Check it out. I love it, and I think I'm not going to ever buy that other stuff again, you know. And they're and they supposed to have some new stuff coming out. It's going to start getting up around the three or $400, but the stuff that you're going to get with that, you're going to probably have Aintech and EO, EO, I mean, Aintech, EOTech quality, but you're still going to be, it's going to be two, $300 cheaper, man. 
And I just believe any way you can save some money, man, you know, you do so. You know, because we all want to get involved, man, but a lot of people, man, when it comes to money thing, a lot of people shy away, man. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm rambling now, man. I'm going I'm to go ahead and stop this video. And I just wanted to uh, just get my thoughts on that. Peace.